In this video, we're going to write a C++ program to read each line in a file and store it into a vector. So here we have a file with five lines of text in it. What we want our program to do is read each line from this file and store it into a vector. So the first thing we'll do is declare a variable for storing the name of the file. We'll call the variable file name and it's going to be a string type variable. We'll prompt the user to enter in the file name with cout and then file name colon. We'll store the file name that the user enters into the file name variable with cin and then file name. Now to access the file and read its contents, we're going to use an ifstream object. To use an ifstream object, we'll have to include the fstream library. So up here we'll have include fstream and then we can declare our ifstream object with ifstream and then file. And we're going to use this ifstream file object here to access the file. The first thing we need to do is open the file. So we'll have here file.open and then file name. So open is a member function of our ifstream file object and we're using it to open the file with the file name that the user has provided by passing it as an argument with file name. This will attempt to open the file. Something could go wrong when opening the file. So for example, maybe there is no file with the file name that the user has entered. We can check to see if an error has occurred using the fail member function of our ifstream file object. So we'll have here if file.fail. So the fail member function is going to return true if there's been a problem opening the file. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So if it returns true, we're going to exit the program with an error message and status. We'll have here cout file failed to open to inform the user why the program is exiting. Then we'll have return one, which is going to exit the program with the status code one. We're going to use return one instead of return zero because return one is a signal to the shell, to the terminal here, that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. So if the fail function returns false, then we're not going to exit the program and we know that the file opened successfully. So now we're ready to read each line in the file and store it into a vector. So we'll have here vector string contents, and this will declare a vector called contents that can store strings. We'll also declare a string variable called line, and we're going to use line to help us read each individual line in the file. Next, we'll have a loop that's going to read all of the lines in the file. We'll have here while and then not file.eof. So the eof member function of our ifstream file object is going to return true once we've reached the end of the file. Otherwise, it's going to return false if we haven't yet reached the end of the file. So here we've got, while it's not true that we've reached the end of the file, continue the loop. And the loop is gonna read each line from the file using the getLine function. So here we'll have getLine and then file and line. And each time this loop body runs, getLine is going to read the next line from this file and store it into the line string variable. We can then take that string and push it onto our vector. So we'll have here contents dot pushback line. And this will add the line that we've just read as a new vector element. And pushback is going to add that element to the back of the vector. So it's going to be the last element of the vector. This will make it so our lines are stored in sequence. So line one is going to be stored first, followed by line two, followed by line three, and so on, because we always add the last line red to the back of the vector as the next vector element. So once this loop is done, we'll have read each of the lines from the file and stored them as an element in our vector. We can now close our access to the file. We can have file.close. And the close member function of our ifstream file object is going to close our access to the file. Now to verify that the lines of the file have been read successfully, we could output the strings stored in our vector. So here we could have for auto file 
line, colon, contents. And here we're using what's called a range-based for loop, where for each iteration of the for loop, file line is going to be set to the next element in the contents vector. And we can output that string here. We can have C out, file line, and then end line. And this should loop through and output each string stored in our vector. And then one more thing we need to do is that if we want to use a vector, we have to include the vector library. So up here we'll have include vector. Now we can save our program and try it out. First, we'll compile it. Then we'll run it. So it compiles OK. We'll run it now. I'll enter in file.txt for the file name. And we can see the lines of the file have been read successfully. So this is how we can read and store the lines in a file into a vector using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.